the Tyrannosaurus Rex was the king of its time. As technology has come along, we now have more insight as to what they were really like, but as new discoveries happen, what we know of the T-Rex is always changing. The T-Rex has been an icon in films like the Jurassic Park franchise and they were also pretty incredible in King Kong. To many dinosaur fanatics, the T-Rex is one of the most loved, and for good reason. They're pretty awesome. Welcome to Content Jungle, be sure to subscribe and join the exploration with us and stay up to date with our upcoming releases. Today on Animal Profiles, we'll be covering the king of the dinosaurs, that is of course, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Also referred to as the Tyrant Lizard King, was designed to strike fear into anything it came across during its time. The creature walked the planet around 65 million years ago during the Cretaceous period in North America. It could be seen wandering through its environment at roughly 40 feet long and 20 feet tall. Dinosaurs like the Triceratops lived alongside it would keep its distance as the T-Rex were designed with bone crushing features that would cause trouble to anything it came across. This was a rare situation where a powerful predator had both excellent eyesight and an incredible sense of smell. Add that to the combination of size and strength, it allowed the beast to be the top of its food chain. Along with its size, the T-Rex was equipped with one of the strongest jaws that have ever walked the earth, making it very capable of ripping any other dinosaur apart. The crazy thing is, they have not always been the apex predators. It has been recently discovered that they have evolved from dinosaurs not much bigger than a small child. The new dinosaur is called Susky Tyrannus, and it is believed to have been around 3 feet tall and weighed between 45 to 90 pounds. It has been somewhat of the filler for the missing link of the T-Rex's evolution. The bones of the T-Rex distant cousin were first discovered in the late 1990s but wouldn't be identified until years later, as more of its kind would be found. The 3 foot tall predator would be the link to what the T-Rex was to what it has become. Life of the offspring of the T-Rex didn't go without their difficulties. A lot of what we know about them are speculations, without being able to see one in action it will unfortunately remain at that. Although no fossilized nest has ever been found, what we can predict based on their living relatives like birds and crocodiles is that the T-Rex would have laid about 20 plus elongated eggs. The parents were believed to also guard and protect their nest. From the Rex's first year of life, they would be faced with great adversity with 60% of them being taken out by disease, predators, or starvation. They were also believed to have traveled together as groups through the T-Rex's young life based on some fossilized footprints. Once they made it out of their first year of obstacles, they would grow rapidly. T-Rex are believed to have grown at a rate 5 times faster than humans. They would continue to rapidly grow until they were 20 years old where they would top off their growth. In order to sustain this rapid growth, the T-Rex needed to feed and feed as often as they could. The Tyrannosaurus had a variety of dinosaurs to choose from and most likely would have fed on primarily herbivores but there has also been some fossils that suggest that they may have fed on each other from time to time. Yes, the T-Rex may have been a cannibal when the opportunity presented itself. The way that they could get their meat has been in debate for a while, as some believe that they were either fearless hunters or solely a scavenger that would pick off dinosaurs that were dying of old age or sickness. Without our ability to observe the creature today, it is possible to be either a hunter or a scavenger. Based on the T-Rex's structure and physical power, there is no reason that it could not have the best of both worlds as it was more than well equipped for. Either way the T-Rex would come across its meal, it would feed ferociously. Based on fossilized dropping of the T-Rex, it would suggest that they had a very fast digestive system, which would require them to feed frequently. It would have been a horrific sight to see, as the T-Rex would strip chunks of meat off the dead carcass. They could grip up to 500 pounds of flesh and bone in one bite. Their arms were of little use while feeding, and they would adapt to throw their heads back and swallow their meat whole, as they most likely did not chew their food. To break apart their meal, they used their powerful jaws that had a bite force just under 8,000 pounds of force. As they would feed, they would often lose their sharp serrated teeth that were the size of bananas, but would eventually grow a replacement set. Fossil findings of the Tyrannosaurus have been fascinating throughout the last century. All sorts of discoveries with the Rex have been found. One of the first notable T-Rex fossils was discovered by the Indiana Jones of fossil hunters, Barnum Brown, in 1902. There have been many fascinating findings since. 
For instance, the largest T-Rex fossil to ever be found was Scotty, a 42 foot long phenomenon. When the fossils were analyzed, it would suggest that this beast lived in into his 30s, something that was very uncommon for the T-Rex. It seemed that the Rex lived through broken ribs and an infected jaw. Scotty was found in 1991 in East End Saskatchewan and ironically named after the bottle of celebratory scotch that the crew had opened when they found the massive fossil. It is remarkable what we are able to learn from fossils we unearthed. Much like tree trunks, the fossil's growth rings correlate with the dinosaur's age, allowing paleontologists to determine at what age the animal died. The T-Rex lived in a world that is so different from what we see today. They populated mostly in North America. They'd make their way along forested river valleys and would have been amazing to see in person. But unfortunately, we are not able to observe these creatures in their natural habitat as they, along with many other dinosaurs, were wiped out by the KT mass extinction. As technology continues to allow us to learn more about animals past, we will continue to expand our knowledge of those who walked the earth before us. The stories of what these creatures were like are fascinating. The tyrant lizard king left this earth many years ago, and we can and will continue to learn more about these creatures and continuously see them on the big screen. What is your favorite movie with the Tyrannosaurus in here? Let me know down below. I'd love to see who else has the same favorites as me, and I'd love to see some films that I've never seen before. Be sure to let me know and subscribe for all upcoming videos. Until next time, this is Content Jungle, signing out.